Good morning. <laughs> I, I wasn't ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you guys wear your stretchy pants for Thanksgiving? You should have. That was your homework assignment. <laughs> um, yeah, you ready? Yeah, I didn't even get to eat dessert. What? What do you mean? Because you ate too much of the meal? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Step in. Not me, man. I always save room for dessert. <laughs> okay. Um, today's devotional is called Testing the Spirits. From 1 John 4, 1, test the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Mm. That's true. Mm -hmm. And you're in John 8, uh, 31 through 59. Which is the end of the chapter. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you get, well, you have a good chunk then. Yeah, this is going to be really good. Let me good. sit back and enjoy the ride. This is going to be really good. And there's lots of red. It's going to be really good. All right. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Jesus answered him, I'm sorry, they answered him, <laughs> We be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin, and the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the Son abideth forever. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye, de and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus saith unto them, If you were Abraham's children, you would, not, you would do the works of Abraham. But now ye seek to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth, which I have heard of God. This did not Abraham. Ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, ye would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because ye cannot hear my word, ye are of your father the devil. In the lusts of your father, ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, Ye believe me not. Which of you convinceth me of, of sin? And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore, you, ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, Say we not, well, that thou art a Samaritan and hast a devil. Jesus answered, I have not a devil, but I honor my father, and ye do dishonor me. And I seek not mine own glory. There is one that seeketh and judgeth. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. Then said the Jews unto him, now we know that thou hast a devil. Abraham is dead, and the prophets, and thou sayest, if a man keep my saying, he shall never taste of death. Art thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead, and the prophets are dead? Whom makest thou thyself? Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father, my father that honoreth me, of whom ye say that he is your God. Yet ye have not known him, but I know him. 
And if I should say, I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. But I know him and keep his saying. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. Then took they up stones to cast at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. <laughs> the first whole half you're reading, I was just smiling because John's just so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. It's like the further you get into it, the richer it gets. Yeah. All right. Believers should try the spirits. You can see whether they are of God in this way. You will be able to tell the true revelation, and the true revelation that will come to you will always sanctify the heart. It will never have an if in it. When the devil came to Jesus, he had an if. He said, if you are of the Son of God, Matthew 4, 3, and if you will fall down and worship me, verse 9, the Holy Spirit never comes with an if. I've often dealt with people under evil powers, people in fits and other things, people so controlled by evil powers that every time they want to speak, the evil powers speak. It is a very dangerous condition, but it is true, people get possessed by the devil. Do you remember the biblical account of the man in the tombs who was terribly afflicted with evil powers? Mark 5, 2 through 15. Strong cords and chains could not hold him. Night and day he was in the tombs, crying out and cutting himself with stones. Verse 5. Can you imagine how torturous that was? Yeah. Like, you're so tormented you want to cut yourself with stones? Jesus came on the scene, and these evil powers caused the man to run. As soon as the man got in front of Jesus, the evil spirit said, Have you come here to torment us before the time? Matthew 8, 29. This man had no power to get free, but these evil spirits were so troubled in the presence of Jesus that they cried out, Have you come here to torment us before the time? Oh, thank God for Jesus. Jesus wants you to be so under his power so controlled by and filled with the Holy Spirit that the power of authority in you will resist all evil. So many believers are not on their guard. That's for all of us. Mm -hmm. Stay on your guard. Every believer should reach a place in the Holy Spirit where he has no desire except the desire of God. The Holy Spirit has to possess us until we are filled and divinely led by the Holy Spirit. It is a mighty thing to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Thought for today, do not desire to lead Jesus. If he leads you, he will lead you into truth. Mm. <laughs> See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Why well, is it so hard for you? I was waiting for you. Hmm.